Hi guys, and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is a general reading for July 10th, 2019. This is a reading for all signs, so it may not resonate with everyone. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, and if you like what you hear, please, um, please hit like, share, and subscribe. All right, and let's see what Spirit has to say to us for July 10th, 2019, okay? So please, Spirit, let us know what we need to know for July 10th, 2019. Okay, Spirit, please let us know what we need to know for July 10th, 2019. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, the first card out is the Magician, the Queen of Chalices, or the Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Four of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups in the Upright. I love when that card comes out. <laughs> I'm such a diehard romantic. The Ace of Wands in Reverse, the High Priestess, all right, and the Emperor. Very nice. All right, and in our overall energy, you guys, we have the Six of Cups or the Six of Chalices. All right, the Six of Chalices is is um, is this karmic connection card. Normally, it, it, it has two children in there and it represents a relationship that either started when you were children or started long ago and somebody coming back to you, or it could also be sort of a twin flame past life relationship. But it's very, it's, it's love, it's happiness, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so I love this. I kind of get that this has to do with somebody who's coming back to you. All right, so whether it was a past life or whether it was from your childhood or whether it was somebody that you used to know or maybe somebody you were friends with and this has sort of moved on to a more romantic relationship. All right, but I'm getting that somebody in some capacity is coming back to you. All right, and this is Cups energy, so it's Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. All right, just give me a moment to look at the cards, you guys. Yeah, all right, this is really beautiful because I'm getting that this is, this may not be for all of you, but it is a romantic reading I'm getting. All right, we have the Magician and the High Priestess. All right, showing up in this reading. All right, the Magician is all about manifesting and in the material world. All right, and the High Priestess is all about the possibilities. All right, and this is definitely a pair. So I'm getting that this is definitely a karmic connection. All right, and I'm really feeling the strong sort of romantic relationship between you guys. All right. So the Magician card has all of the tools necessary to manifest what he wants. All right, he has access to everything. So he, he's all about manifesting. All right, so what is the magician manifesting? Here we have the Ten of Cups in the upright position. This is love. This is happiness. This is all of your wishes fulfilled. Again, we've got a couple here, and I'm seeing another couple. Okay, the magician and the high priestess. When we combine the magician and the high priestess, we get the empress, who isn't showing up in this card. Okay, but she is the combination of material, okay, the material world and all of the possibilities, okay, that you can create, all right, and the future creations here, the high priestess, the imagination, all right, and the intuition. So that is a very, that in the priest, uh, sorry, the empress, she is abundant, she is fertile, she is passionate, all right? And here we have the children, the creativity, all right? So this is just a beautiful energy, you guys. This is definitely a love and romance reading, so I'm going to pull some of my romance cards, my romance oracles. All right, here then we have the Queen of Chalices. This is more Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is Mother, okay? She's very creative, she's very intuitive. All right, um, she's also very fertile, and she is whom, okay, the high priestess talks to the most or talks through, okay? So uh, she, so again, she's very in touch with her psychic abilities. It may be that you also are in touch with your psychic abilities, all right? Or the person that you're with, again, if I say male or female, it's just the energies because gender is fluid, so it doesn't necessarily mean I'm talking about a man or a woman, Okay, it could be the qualities of this person. She has this beautiful and ornate cup, 
all right? She's harnessed her creativity, her intuition, all of her emotions, and she's able to give, she's able to nurture, and she sits ever so comfortably in her emotions, in her creativity. All right, absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of psychic energy in this reading as well. Okay, there's a lot of karma. There's This is a very strong karmic connection, you guys. All right, and I get that you have lost this person or you guys have left each other. You guys have taken different paths, but you're coming back together. All right, I love that. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, the Ace of Wands. All right, this is this spark, okay, this passion, this ignition. All right, but in reverse, it's like not yet, okay? It's saying mm, not yet. It's all there, okay? The magician, you have all of the tools to manifest what you want and to manifest this amazing, beautiful, lovely relationship, okay? With this person who could very well be, you know, the mother of your children, okay? If it's a female, if not this person who's going to nurture you, who's creative, who's psychic, who's everything... Uh, she's your your perfect complement. All right. Again, we've got this perfect complement with the high priestess and the magician. All right. But this spirit is saying the time wasn't right. So as much as you wanted it, as much as the passion was there, as much as you know you wanted to will it to happen, and you were willing to do anything to make this relationship work, or to make this happen, or to bring it forth, or to bring this person back. All right. The time is not now. You might just have to wait, all right? That might just be a little bit frustrating for you. And not just a little bit. I'm sure it's very frustrating for you, okay? It may also be in the past. It may have been something that happened in the past, all right, because of where the cards are following, follow, follow, falling. I cannot speak today. Sorry, guys. All right. The next card out, we have the Six of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And this is all about balance. This is all about status. All right. So remember, if I'm getting sort of this Capricorn image. Capricorns can be very status-driven. And we can see in this particular deck, this person is very status-driven. But it's another couple. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of couples here, you guys. I'm seeing a lot of parents. I'm seeing this is definitely some sort of romantic relationship. And we've got another six. All right. So he has enough money and he's giving to somebody who is less fortunate. So he has abundance. He has extra. All right. But it's also about the give and take. Like, is he giving enough? Is he not giving enough? Is he just giving a little bit? All right. Or is he just giving the extra that he doesn't need? All right, and with the six in reverse, Spirit is really asking us to see, okay, is this situation balanced? All right, is this situation balanced? Are you guys, um, is this relationship balanced? Is there a sufficient give and take? I just keep getting the time isn't right now. Okay, so we're waiting for, um, we're waiting for divine timing. All right, Spirit is saying divine timing. All right, right now, I think that, the Earth's energies and the universe's energies aren't aligning quite yet, all right, to bring this person back right now, okay? I get that it's coming, and I think six is going to be really important. So it may be in six weeks, all right? It may be in six months, all right? But to bring this person back to you and to sort of bring everything, bring your life back into balance, all right? Bringing that love back, all right, bringing, you know, when we're, when we're loved up, when things are really working in our favor, we can feel this balance and there's this equal exchange in this relationship. All right. So spirit is saying, rely on your intuition. All right. Your intuition is going to be of utmost importance. You have it. All right. Maybe you need to just take a little step back. Maybe you need to withdraw. You need to quiet the noise. So maybe you go somewhere. All right. Or maybe it's taking a shower. Okay. Or maybe it's taking a walk. I'm getting really, you need to be in touch with nature. All right. And, um, the, the high priestess here, she has all of the secrets and the secrets are within you. All right. The laws of eternal life are hidden in the material world. That's what the wheel card says. All right. That's halfway to enlightenment. So in order for you to get in touch with your intuition, you're going to have to quiet the noise, withdraw, 
okay? And there's some things that aren't seen. So there's something that's unseen, and I'm getting that. Again, Spirit is saying divine timing is going to play an important role in this situation, all right? And you may not exactly see why, because you really want this, all right? This Ace of Wands energy, you're ready for it, okay? But it's not quite there. It's not quite ready yet. And I get that that's a little bit frustrating for you, Okay, but there are things that are at work behind the scenes that you may not be able to see right now. All right, and you may not be able to see because the timing isn't right. Okay, but remember the importance of divine timing. All right, here we have the Four of Pentacles. It's more Earth energy. It's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, and this is all about stability. All right, and this in this deck, in this particular deck, I always see this older gentleman as very brooding. He has everything he could possibly want. Okay, um, he has everything he could possibly want, but he's alone. So if we take a look at him in the Six of Pentacles, he has someone by his side. He has his partner. He has even more money. His life is more colorful. His life is more joyous because he has more balance. All right, but I'm getting that you're going to you're going to have to really protect yourself from feeling this disappointment and feeling alone, even though you'll feel like you have everything that you need financially or materially, you know, the job, the house. But I think you're missing, okay, that twin flame or that partner, all right? And you're trying to manifest it, all right? And you're trying to bring this person back. This person who either walked away from you or is from another lifetime. All right. The Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Emperor. The Emperor is Aries energy. And Emperor is the father of the Tarot. Okay. He is authority. He is, uh, he is the one who educates the children. Okay. He is the one who makes the rules. He has the ability, um, you know, to penalize you, to punish you, but he's also a very fair and just leader. Okay. So he's sitting here next to the high priestess. All right. So we've got two, uh, we've got one, two, three major arcana cards here, okay? So this is definitely a romantic love reading, all right? So let's take some oracle cards to see what's going on here with the emperor, all right, and the four of pentacles, okay? But I get that the emperor is next to his high priestess, all right? Even though they're not married in the tarot, all right? Um... But there's definitely, definitely, definitely couples. There's definitely love. There's definitely romance. All right. And it's somebody that's walked away from you. Goddess of the moon. All right. Again, here, this is absolutely beautiful because this echoes the high priestess card. And here we have the new moon. All right. So you're going, I think you're going to be trying to manifest this relationship and you need to manifest this relationship. You need to speak your intentions out loud. You need to write them down. You need to ask your angels. You need to ask the universe for your help. All right. You also need to rely on your intuition. All right. We all have it. Maybe it might take a little bit of withdrawal, but this is going to be very important. The new moon is going to be very important. All right, anxiety. All right, I'm getting that you're getting, <laughs> you are very anxious. You want this to happen now, all right? But the divine timing isn't right, all right? So remember, spirit always has a plan. The universe has a plan and divine timing, all right? And here, look on this, on this ace of wands. This is one of the few decks where there's a bunny, okay? A rabbit that shows up in this card. That's fertility. It's coming. All right, but you cannot force it. All right, and I get that this is causing you a lot of anxiety because I think you're somebody who I'm speaking to somebody who's used to being able to make things happen when they want to. Okay, or you have the financial means to get whatever you want when you want. All right, so you're not used to having to wait. All right. The universe is, yes, I just keep getting divine timing. The, you know, divine timing is at work. And I think you're getting frustrated and anxious because boom, happy family. It's coming, you guys. This is absolutely beautiful. 
Look at these two cards, children, rainbows, happy couple. You know, this is absolutely, I, I am so full of joy right now, you guys. And I'm not laughing at you, but I'm laughing with you because I understand what it's like when you want something so bad and you are used to being able to manifest it and you're used to being able to buy it or do whatever you need to do to make it happen. But the universe is teaching us a lesson here. Yeah, but sometimes we have to, we have to give up control. All right. Sometimes we have to give up control. And I get that you might be brooding about that a little bit because I get that this Aries Emperor energy is also you and you're not used to it. Okay. And then finally here we have the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, communication. All right. So I'm getting here. This is this is my speak your truth card, you guys. But it's also this card that's saying that, you know, pay attention to what's going on around you. Pay attention to the signs. Again, I mentioned, you know, that, that speaking your intentions, writing them down, asking your angels for help, and this is what Archangel Gabriel is, is reaffirming for us. All right. So I'm just going to pull a few more. Oh, oof. <laughs> I told you, I have been dropping cards left and right, you guys. I have no idea what's going on with me today. All right, so um, just a few more oracle cards for Spirit. Please let us know a little bit more about this situation. All right, give us a little more guidance. Discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. All right, did I not just say that? All right, the fifth chakra, speaking your truth, discover the truth. All right, there's a lesson that spirit is teaching us, all right, that the universe is teaching us. All right, this situation is going to require patience, but it's coming, you guys. Happy family, ten of cups. Jeez, doesn't get any better than that. Passion and pleasure, savor your life. Wow, all right. So it's absolutely gorgeous. Look, there's a very happy couple. They look like they've... You know, they're enjoying parties with their friends and their family, traveling, all right? Just all the good stuff. I love it, you guys. I, this, this reading has made me so happy. Valiant courage, take action with passion. So I'm getting that that's you, all right? Because you really want to manifest things, all right? You, you have the tools to manifest. You're used to it. You are this valiant, this valiant knight, okay? Um, and it says take action with passion, but I think you're going, it's spirit is also saying that's part of the, part of the lesson here, you know, that you want to, but you might just have to wait. All right. And it's not going to kill you, although it might feel like it is in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. All right. So divine timing is at work. All right. So everything is happening. Uh, everything is happening exactly the way it should be happening. All right. All right, you just need to be a little bit more patient here. All right, because Spirit is saying good things come to those who wait. All right, and it's coming for you. All right, you've generated the karma. All right, too, and you deserve it. It's coming. This person is definitely coming back to you. All right, they're coming back. Don't worry. All right, beautiful reading, you guys. So I'm going to pull some Mermaid Oracle cards. Just see what they have to say about this love. All right, air. Breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life bringing energies. You guys, I'm so giddy for you. <laughs> Whoever I'm reading for, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is romance, this is love. All right, this is real soulmate energy. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Experiments, manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge and arrogance. Huh. Interesting. I get that this person, okay, I'm getting, it's not you and it's not between you and this person. I think this person that you either walked away from or that walked away from you has sort of been in a bad situation. All right. They've been with somebody who wasn't good for them. All right, or their life hasn't been good without you, okay? Or maybe that you guys haven't met yet, but you were together in a previous life. But I get that they're, they've experienced some hardship, okay? But this is definitely soulmate energy, you guys. It's gorgeous, all right? But they might need a little bit of nurturing, all right? They might need a little bit of your help. 
visions, psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing, out-of-body travel. Okay, again here, we're getting all of this intuition coming out. All right, so using your intuition is going to be really important, you guys. All right, I think when you meet this person, I think you're going to have to rely on your intuition, all right, not on maybe making logical decisions. It may be somebody that you you would never normally consider as a mate or a partner, all right, or you might meet them in some really bizarre way, okay, but it might be somebody who's just not, not your normal, not your normal type. All right, but we can't really choose who our soulmates are. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I have tried to make this video like four times, <laughs> so it doesn't surprise me that it just cut off um, as I pulled the last card. So we'll just take up where I left off. So the last card that popped out was the unseen, too much is hidden from you. And again, that just goes back to this, this high priestess card. Again, you're going to have to withdraw. You're going to have to quiet the noise. You're going to have to really rely on your intuition. All right, you're going to have to really look at everything that you've done, clear your blocks, look at the decisions you've made, everything that's brought you to this point. All right, and learn from your past actions. All right, so you can not repeat the same mistakes in the future, okay? And so you can avoid being alone, and so you don't miss out on this person. But Spirit is saying there is just, there's too much that's hidden from you, and I get that it's not this person, okay? This person has been having a rough time, I think, without you, all right? That's evident, but what I do get Spirit is saying so much with the High Priestess card, okay, and with all of our intuition, all right, that, um, again, we are definitely, you're protected by your angels, but there's something that you're not seeing, okay, and again, that's popping out here with the Goddess of the Moon card. There's something that you're not seeing, and I get that that's within you, all right, so please be open to whoever comes your way. Again, I'm just keep getting this image. This is somebody, you know, your soulmate may be, and this may not be for everyone. This may just be for one of you, but you may meet this person and it's the last person you would expect to meet. All right, so when my camera popped, uh, turned off, the my first uh, card that popped out here was within the next few weeks. I love this. So all of the sixes, guys, that we've been seeing, I'm guessing that's within six weeks. So I just want you to really keep your eyes open, eyes and ears open, okay? And I get that it might be a really weird situation, but you're really going to have to do some internal work, all right? Really go inward first, clear a lot of your blocks. Make sure I just keep getting, don't repeat your past mistakes. All right, learn from the past. All right, and then you can open yourself up to, you know, to this person who's coming back into your life. All right, the next card is no. <laughs> All right, spirit, crazy reading. Okay. Get more information. All right, very good. So this, I mean, this is not very good. I wish it was saying something different, but it's saying within the next few weeks, you really need to do something. You really need to withdraw. You really need to do some inner work, all right? And you need to be able to get more information. There's too much that's unseen from you. All right, and it may also be from this person. This person might be leaving a situation that might be bad. All right, so you have to make sure that, you know, you have all of the details as well. All right. But unless, if you don't get more information, it's going to be a big no, all right? And I get that, you know, you might miss out on this person, all right? So if you don't go inward and if you don't get enough information from this person, um, you're going to end up missing out on this person. So ask for help from others, all right? So I'm getting that, you know, you might really need somebody here um, that's going to help you. All right, it's going to help you sort of do the work that you need to do, clear the blocks, all right, that you have, all right, and that so you can learn from your past mistakes and so you can move forward, all right, because this is a beautiful reading, you guys. I know it got a little bit confusing here at the end. Thank you. I blame Mer Mercury Retrograde and like five takes on trying to do a reading for you guys today, um, but we have absolutely beautiful cards, the Ten of Cups coming out twice. All right, and, um, you know, and, and just this absolute, look at this card, you guys. 
I mean, this is an equal exchange of gifts, breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life bringing energies. All right. I get this is going to be just such a rejuvenating experience for you. Okay. So don't let it pass you up. All right. Don't let it pass you up. And again, keep your eyes and ears open because I feel like it's not going to be who you expected. It's going to be somebody that you never imagined. All right. So if you guys liked this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Please leave me comments. They mean so much to me and it really helps me learn and grow reading your comments. Um, and uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. All right. And I'll see you next time.